Hello there, this is the SA80 soldering iron extension module from anywhere. We can use this soldering iron module by connecting it to the MHP50 hot plate. The SA80 is a small, lightweight soldering iron. It requires only 6 seconds to reach 300 degrees Celsius from zero. It has quick changeable tape, slip mode, automatic shutdown, etc. So in this video, I will show you the complete details of this tiny SA80 soldering iron extension module. Let's get started with this video. So the SA80 module comes in this box. The box contains a stand, some accessories, the SA80 soldering iron adapter and a manual. Remember this pack doesn't have the MHP50. Here is the soldering iron adapter and you can see the weird adapter section. The iron is more and lightweight when it is compared to TS80 and TS101. The white ring is an indicator. It uses the same tip of TS80 and we can exchange the tip by just one click. The SA80 module comes with the TSK4 knife style tip. This orange color sleeve gives good grip, also it is very easy to hold. The cable length is about 1 meter and it is made with high quality silicon. Now here is my MHP50. I have already made a dedicated video about the MHP50. You can watch that also. We can just remove the hot plate and we can just insert the SA80 module there like this. After that we need to update the firmware if the firmware is below 2.0. For that press and hold the first button and insert the USB cable. The LED should turn into blue color. Now in the computer you can see a miniware DFU disk. Now we need to download the latest firmware. You can get that link from the video description. Now download and extract the firmware. There are two hex files and one readme file. Now copy the first file that is named like mhp50app and paste it in the DFU device. Now wait for the updation. After updation, the .hex format should change to .rdy. Now do the same for the second file. After that we can unplug the USB cable from the computer. Now you can see the version is changed to 2.0.1. Now let's set up the stand. Just loose the downside screw and connect the clip like this. This is for detecting the presence of iron in the stand. Now remove the small rubber pad and connect the connector. Now we are ready to go. Settings and menu is the same as the hot plate. Now you can see the working. To test the speed of heating, I removed the old tip and changed it to another one. And see it took only 6 to 7 seconds to reach 300 degrees Celsius from zero. That's great. When I place the soldering iron on the stand, the temperature goes down and it will heat up when I raise the soldering iron from the stand. This way we can save energy and extend the tip life. I'm using this iron for 3 months now and the iron is awesome because of its fast heating and the lightweight feel. So when it comes to buying a soldering iron, we all consider its price. So if you are looking for a soldering iron and a mini hot plate, then this product is for you. If you need only soldering iron, then it is little bit expensive. You can find the product link from my video description. So that's it friends, hope you enjoyed and learned something new from my video. If so, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.